Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more NHL 18 Failure Friday. That is right, let's see if we can hit 200 likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe, and join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. And let's go ahead and take a look at not our first clip, but our first picture. So in this picture, you will see that in this guy's franchise mode he has now if this is the same guy i think it is this is cody i'm probably gonna butcher it but it's either say Sa 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 chasey i don't know how you say it but he's a defenseman for ottawa and it, not only is he apparently a goalie but he's an alternate captain at goalie so i don't know if this is the same guy it might just be a created goalie with the same first initial that is my guess i don't know but um but the only reason as to why i would think that it's the defenseman is because how else could he be an alternate captain goalie i don't know it, it's a very odd glitch i've never seen that i've never seen you be able to hand a goalie alternate captain so i'm not sure how that worked but a pretty cool glitch I'm not gonna lie so this might be the first time I've seen this glitch from this camera angle take a look at this the dude gets stuck in the net and I just love it from the uh, the camera inside the net it makes it a lot funnier thank you for submitting that clip from that camera angle buddy all right so we got a pretty embarrassing AI fail so this guy is trying to get a goalie goal and the AI completely misses an open net from that close. Ah, oh. I mean, we're not talking about a human error here. We're talking about a computer. Come on. You got to score on that. But hey, good for the user. So in this next clip, we got the AI screwing up again. So as you can see, this puck is just going all over the place. No one is able to get a piece of it. Then the goalie decides to play it, misplays it, and oh. Very unfortunate for the user team, but he wasn't controlling the goalie. He didn't even get the chance to because the puck never ended up on his stick. So that's the AI's fault. So can you really get any better of a goal than this? I mean, the skill that went into this is incredible. So he's going to end up beating out the icing, takes the shot, misses the net. But look at that bat in. What? From that location, that far out, how did that end up in the net? I'm just, I, I have no words to describe that one. That was just insane. Nice bat in by Patrick Line. That's just super impressive. All right, now this goalie, not only should he not play an NHL game again, but a professional game again. So it comes off the boards. The goalie could have easily played this with his stick sitting right there. Somehow it goes underneath it. He can't freeze it right, and it looks like his pad knocks it in the net. How do you manage to do that? I mean, come on, goalie. Come on. So I'm not sure if this is quite a fail, but it was pretty funny, and I also have to appreciate what he did with the colors because he appreciates the Quebec dorsals. But he was going for a, a pass, but he ends up getting a full ice goal instead, which I think is very impressive nonetheless it's just a really cool goal i don't know what's more impressive the goal or the fact that vecchione on the flyers made it to the nhl he doesn't have a very high overall but no without a doubt awesome clip and i love the colors thank you for using the quebec dorsals colors i'm glad you like them and um and yeah thank you for the clip buddy now in this next clip talk about taking diving to the extreme so this guy is going to lay down a a little bit of a uh, he he lays down to try and poke the puck away, and this guy just goes flying into the glass. But I think that was a little dramatic. But I, I, yeah, I don't think he's going to be winning any um, any Oscars anytime soon. So now let's take a look at this shootout fail. I mean, this is just very unfortunate. This guy's going to take the shot. Makes a nice glove save. Oh, but that becomes moot as he puts it in his own net. Very unfortunate. So sometimes you just get gifts. And I've been in this guy's boat before. And 
You know what? I'll take it. It works for me. So this was supposed to be a pass. It goes off the defender skate and right into the net. Talk about a big gift there. So here we have a clip of a goal that just absolutely shouldn't have happened. So check this out. The the uh, other team is going to end up winning the faceoff, takes a shot, and it's just going to sit under this guy's pads for a good amount of time, and then they poke it in and it goes in. Just, that shouldn't have happened. Whistle should have been blown. I mean, he said he couldn't have gotten the puck. It was like in between his pads, so... Yeah, if it's not loose, that has to get uh that has to get blown dead. So, yeah, very uh, unfortunate ruling there. Now there is no way that you skate off the rink after this happens. Take a look. He literally lands on his face. How do you not have a broken neck or severe damage to your face or head after that? I mean, wow. I'm assuming that he was okay. So. Gotta hand it to him. Way to walk that off. All right, now this next one is just hilarious. Take a look at this. This is why On Ice Trainer is awesome. This guy got a stick infraction without a stick. He didn't have a stick in his hands. How do you get a stick infraction without a stick? I mean, come on, EA. How does that happen? So with 12 seconds left in the goalie pulled, this guy is down by one goal. Rebound. Ooh, and that's why it's failure Friday, not successful Saturday. Oh, what a bummer. He's got to put that in the back of the net. Oh, man, very unfortunate. But at least it ended up on failure Friday. Talk about some close calls. So take a look at this one. This guy is going to take the shot. It's going to go off the guy's skater stick. And who way to keep that out of the net. Very close call. But just kidding. The goalie is going to kick it right into his own net. Oh, that sucks. So talk about a broken game. Look at this. This guy takes the shot. We got a great rebound opportunity. McDavid cannot get to it. But Jordan's there. He's going to take the shot. And it hits absolutely nothing and doesn't go in the net. How does that happen? Look, nothing was there to interfere with that puck. How? Just how? Now, I think many of us that have done goalie fights have experienced this. Just the flying helmet out of nowhere. I don't know why it happens. Don't think there's a good explanation for it, but it happens. So here's something I don't think I've ever seen after a goal. This guy's going to put one in the back of the net. And I'm not sure if he's just glitched or unconscious, but either way, it's a, a pretty unique way to celebrate a goal. Here's another goalie mishap for you guys. So take a look at this. He clears it. It's going to go on the red line, and the goalie literally just bats it in his own net. Didn't I don't I don't know why he did that. I really cannot give you a good explanation as to why that occurred. So this is just a very odd clip, and I don't know if I can give you guys a good explanation. Yeah, I I don't know what happened. I don't know how that, that went in. I don't know how that guy got credit for the goal, but... I don't know. I really don't know. Awesome clip. Definitely a fail on the one team, but um, also a success for yours. So I got to hand it to you. Very nice goal. All right. So this is our last clip, but it's an odd one, but a good one. So take a look at this goal. So the puck is on the ground and somehow it just ends up going in the air when this guy goes down he like flings it or something which is pretty impressive and it ends up in the back of the net I really I, I've never seen that before that is definitely new to me so I have to hand it to that player for some extreme skill definitely an impressive goal but guys that is going to conclude this week's edition of failure Friday I hope you all enjoyed remember if you guys have any clips for 
NHL Failure Friday. Make sure to send them at NHLFailureFriday at gmail.com. And also, I still need clips for MLB Failure Friday. So be sure to send them at MLBFailureFriday at gmail.com as well. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.